Hey guys, welcome back to the Movie Keeper Production Channel. My name is Bernard Snows, and today will be the collection update for the month of March. March has come and gone, and I have some titles to show you guys that I picked up during the month of month March. Yeah, March. Yeah, there's some pretty really cool titles. Um, most of it I have not seen yet, or because these are films I've been in my radar for quite some time. But there are still films in the stack that I love, so let's get right into it. First off, right the bat is the steelbook version of Dragon Slayer released by Paramount Pictures. This release look amazing. I love fantasy, I love 80s movies, 80s horror, 80s fantasy, I'm down. This looks really cool movie for me to watch, for me to enjoy. And yeah, I decided to pick up the steelbook release because it looks awesome. Like, first up, the artwork is incredible, including the back. And then it's a zip cover, so in the zip cover, you get the incredible still book. Very nice, nasty. I like it. I like it a lot. It's just a 4K disc only, there's no Blu ray, but there is a digital copy. And one of the special features in this release is the commentary by. Kekemo de Toro and the director of the film, I believe. Yeah, this looks fun. And I know I'm... Well, well the zip code is upside down. Let me fix that. There you go. That's better. Well, I'm trying to say that this film looks a ton of fun. Great visuals. Very 80s. That's kind of my thing. So, Dragon Slayer. Cannot wait to check this film out. Hopefully soon, because this looks... A ton of fun. Next up is another still book, a 4K still book of The Mask of Soto, starring the wonderful Antonio Banderas, Anthony Hopkins, and Catherine Seta Jones. It's been a long while that I've seen this movie. Last time I seen this movie is probably on DVD when I was a very young kid. I remember, I, me I do remember liking this movie a whole lot because it's adventurous, it's a lot of fun, there's action, great characters. I remember liking this movie. But it's been a while. It's due for a rewatch, and I cannot wait to check this film out again after all these years that I have not revisited this film. But this time in a glorious 4K. I love the still book. I love the artwork. Look at the back. That's very, very sexy and handsome Antonio Banderas. And yeah, it's a 4K and Blu ray compact. Yeah, this. It's a very nostalgic film, but I don't remember. It's been a long while, but I do remember liking this movie. Yeah, that's The Mask of Solo. I cannot wait to watch. I know there's a sequel, I believe, called The Legend of Solo. I, I don't think I've seen that one, but I remember watching the first film. This is The Mask of Solo. The next two are Scream Factory. I love some Scream Factory. The first one is The Exorcist 3. This film is incredible, starring Josie Scott, Brad Dorf, amazing, amazing, atmospheric, eerie, but great character film. Wonderful. I saw this film for the first time last year and I was blown away. Definitely better than The Heretic, the sequel to Exorcist, but this is the only Exorcist film that we got on 4K so far. And Wonder Bullet is already planning to release the first film on 4K. Hopefully soon because I've been dying to own the exercise on 4K. I've been wanting that's one of many titles I wanted to be released on 4K. It's happening, but we don't know when. But at least we got the Exorcist 3, which is an amazing film, an amazing third entry in the in the in the Exorcist franchise. I love everything about this film and I was just blown away by the score, by the performances by Josie Scott and Brad Dorf, which is a highlight. Van Dorf in this film is amazing and captivating, chilling performance. Brad Dorf is such an underrated actor. Yes, he's known for being voicing Chucky. He is that character that he's amazing and also he's in Lord of the Rings trilogy. Yeah, Brad Dorf is such an amazing actor and obviously Josie Scott is great as always. He's an amazing actor. Love, love this film. Really do. I cannot wait to dive into the 4K release of this film. The only 4K disc is the theatrical cut, but there is a di director cut which is not on a 4K disc, but that's fine by me. 
but all the extras, all the, you know, from the previous Screen Factory release is all put over to this 4K release, so you're not missing out anything, which is great. I know this is exclusive auto commentary released by every video, but it's only exclusively on every video in UK. So there's one missing special feature with the auto commentary, but everything's in there, all the extras are in there, I'm sure it's going to look great on 4K, so cannot wait to dive into the 4K disc of the Exorcist 3. Amazing film. That's Silence, that by James Wan, one of the few James Wan films I have not seen yet. And I cannot wait to watch this film for the first time, hopefully soon, because this film has been my radar for quite some time since I was started to become a fan of James Wan, from Saw to Free or Seven, Aquaman, Insidious, Insidious Chapter 2, and Malignant, which is my favorite from him so far. I love Malignant. I still need to get the 4K release. This is, I already saw the Blu-ray release, but I need to get the 4K release. Anyway, I got the Screen Factory Online exclusive zip cover because the artwork is incredible. I mean, look at that bad boy. It's incredible. And look at the back. Very, very creepy. And here's the original cover that is used, in, you know, in Best Buy and all that. But we, we want to get a, a separate, different artwork. ScreenFactory.com Online exclusive cover is the way to go. So you can have two different artworks. As it just looks so cool. I love the artwork. Anyway, can I wait to watch Death Silence for the first time? Hopefully soon. Such a great release. Streets of Fire, Dr. by Walter Hill, starring Diane Lane, Rick Moranis, and Willem Dafoe. This looks awesome. This is the another 80s movies. I'm a sucker for 80s movies. I love 80s movies. This looks tons of fun. And this is another film that had been my radar for quite some time. I was this close buying a Blu-ray release from South Factory. This is a South Factory release, and this is by number 16, part of the South Select line. And this is the 4K release just came out this month as well, in the month of March. This film looks awesome by the imagery, by the stills, by the clip that I've seen online. It looks right my alley. Can I wait to dive into Streets of Fire as one of the films I have been my radar for quite some time. And hopefully, finally, I can finally watch this film. For the first time, Red Eye, directed by Wes Craven, starring Richard McAdams and Cillian Murphy. Another film had been my radar for quite some time. A lot of people said it's one of the most underrated Craven film, and it just looks so intriguing. And there's no, for the longer time, this film never got a Blu-ray release. It had been only on DVD, I believe, for the longer time. And finally, Pema Percent line announced they're going to release Red Eye not only on Blu-ray. On 4K for the first time in high HD format, basically. This is again, like I said, this is part of Pema Percent line, it's by number 39. I've not seen this movie yet, I just got this today in the mail um, because my first copy when it arrived, it arrived damaged, the spine was crutched. I'm like, ah, oh, I have to return it, I order a replacement. Here it is, finally in the perfect condition, no damage whatsoever. It's a nice, nice release. Um, Spine 39, you can see right there, here at the back. Tons of excerpts, we got other commentary by editor Patrick Lussier, um, for, for Maker Focus, Wes Craven, Wes Craven and Red Eye, new Wes Craven in his own words. There's a commentary by Wes Craven and producers and editor, and we have the making of, and yeah, it looks like a great, a great release. And here's the poster of Red Eye. It's a really nice release, really nice. I'm a big fan of my percent line, even though I wish they had booklet, that would be pretty cool, that would be at a much more premium, because it is a premium format. It's a spine number, it is its own sub-label and part of Pema Percent, I mean Pema Studios releases. Yeah, it's a really nice release, and I cannot wait to dive into Red Eye, because it looks really intriguing. Cannot wait to check out Red Eye, and I can, I'm really excited to check out more of Waste Clearing Films I have not seen yet. All Quiet on the Rest of Fun. I saw this film last year on Netflix and this film blew me away how great it is but also how heartbreaking and greedy and really terrifying film. And when this was announced from coming to 4K on physical media, I was happy because I love this movie and I also love the original film that I own on Blu-ray by Universal. And not only is on 4K and Blu-ray, it's in a digibook form. If you know me, I love digibooks. I prefer digibooks over still books. I think digibook is a great format. I need a comeback. 
I love this book. But the only problem that this release is that this is a DVD size. So it is much larger than a regular digital book. So if you compare it to Red Eye, put it together, you can see the size difference, which is a DVD size. So, but it's still a great release. I'm not complaining at all, despite the fact it's a DVD size, you know, digital book. But I don't mind it, beautiful release. I mean, great artwork from the poster. Here's the back. And here's the 4K disc. And the Blu-ray. And it's, uh, I believe, 20, almost 25, 24 pages. It's a digital book. So here's some sneak peek, um, closer look, if you will. Um, there's Daniel Bull, one of the most underrated actors. Love the actor a lot. Yeah, it's a, it's a great release. It is. And also, the cool thing about this release, there's some extras that is not on Netflix at all. There's an auto commentary by director Eric Berger. There's a making of. There's a Twitter teaser 24 page booklet. And that's pretty much it. But at least there's some extras in this release, which is great. Because um, you don't want to put a bare bones release that this film has been seen on Netflix. You can watch on Netflix. What's the point of getting this release? I like the fact they add some extras, the commentary and the making of doc. So that is a great sign of a great release because you don't want to live empty handed because the you know, oh, there's no extras then I'm not getting it because I can still watch on Netflix. There's a reason why I want to get this. One is a digital book, two, there's some extras here that that's not on Netflix. So great release. Really looking forward to check this movie out again. But this time on honor commentary because I love commentaries. So yeah, that's all quiet on the Western Front. Amazing film. Fellow up with Super part of the Radiance film line. This is by number 10. And I just had to get it because I do not I do not want to miss out the limited edition release of part of the Radiance Films line. I've been loving this line. I already pre-ordered some other title that's coming up really soon in the next couple of months. Have not seen it, obviously, because it's still sealed. And, but I'm really excited to check this film out. It's new. I have never seen it. It's blind buy, but it's like really cheap, like twenty dollars range when I got there. So looking forward to checking this film out. So in the, during the month of March, I went to Austin, Texas for South by Southwest, which is an amazing experience. I have done a video about my experience and my favorite film that I watched in South by Southwest. Link below. But while in Austin, I decided to go to visit to this wonderful little store called Wallaloo. Records not only they have music vinyls and all that but they have movie section as well These two titles has been my Amazon Save later card for quite some time because one th those are Kino Lober titles and they're 4k And I do not want to miss the zip cover out So the first one right bad is the first title is the taking of Feltham 123 starring Walter Matthau and Robert Shaw this film looks Stunning and wonderful and I cannot wait to watch this film for the first time because it looks a ton of fun I know there is a remake right starring Denzel Watson correct me if I'm wrong I know there's a there's a remake at least but I want to check out the original first because I heard a lot of people saying it's a fantastic Film starring Walter Matthau. Yes, please. It's a Kino Lober. I love what the Kino Lober have been doing lately even though I have not caught up, I still need to get Mystery Man or, or as well as Higher Pains Drifters. I mean, there's so many releases. And also the upcoming releases that's 12 Angry Man, Serpico, The Night of Hunter, and the upcoming Cujo on 4K, which I'm actually really excited for that. So there's a lot of catching up. I really want to get some several 4K titles from them. I just haven't picked it up. It's been hard because the price is iffy. You know, this around is almost 30 bucks. So when I was in Austin, I'm like, get these two. So the first one is Taking a Feltham 1, 2, 3. And the other film is Escape from Trash starring Clint Eastwood. This film also looks ton of fun. Clint Eastwood. Yes, please. Kino Lober 4K release. Yes, please. Get it. Because I do want to get the sub cover. So, yeah. Those are the two Kino Lober 4K release I got for the month of March. While I was in Austin, Texas. I just had to pick it up. So... Yeah. Lastly, finally, for the month of March, that is John Sherlock Holmes on Steelbook. This release has already come out a couple of months ago. 
I just happened around pick this one up. And this film has been my radar for quite some time because I love the fact this film is about young Sherlock Holmes. Before, as we know, as Sherlock Holmes, the best detective, everything like that. I watch it, and I gotta be honest, it's a lot of fun. It's not perfect, but it's a ton of fun. I really enjoy this movie. And the main reason why I picked it up because it's the part that Steven Spielberg presents. He produced a lot of films during the 80s and 90s, so there's a ton of film that he made, like Gremlins, for example, he produced that film. So it was like, it's a no brainer for me to pick this one up because one, Steven Spielberg, he produced this movie. I love Steven Spielberg, he's one of my favorite filmmakers of all time. So I was like, yeah, I'll get this film because Steven Spielberg produced this movie. Not only that, it's a ton of fun. I really enjoyed this film. Really, thoroughly enjoyed it. it. It truly engaged me because this is a story of a young Sherlock Holmes. So, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's really fun, and I really like this release. But the only problem, they did not release the standard Blu-ray case, you know, they only released the still book. So, I was lucky enough to find one copy left in my local Target store, so I just, when I, I was randomly going to Target for some errands, and I saw this on shelf, just one copy left, I was like, okay, it's $17, it's cheap enough, why not get it? And I did not regret buying this. It's a ton of fun. I really enjoyed it. So here's a really nice artwork. I love the artwork. It's just one disc. The only minor gripes about this release is that there's no extras at all. It's just the film only. So it's bare bones as you can get. So yeah, that's. I know for sure down the line they're going to release on 4K soon, but. We shall see. So the game is afoot. Um, we shall see. So really, really enjoyed it. And also, this is notable for one of the very first use of CGI character on a film. So that's also film history as well. In the back end, it says the groundbreaking Oscar-nominated special effects include the very first use of completely computer-generated character in cinema. So that's something worth. You know, owning for film history. So, yeah. Really enjoyed John Chula Holmes. Had a great, great time. Really nice of stack of titles. Some still books, some one digital book. Um, a lot of boutique titles like Paramount Percent Line, Radiant Films, Screen Factory, South Select, and Kino Lorber. Really nice. Really nice. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great one. Take care.